the last few things under the hood I need to do is one I need to run a uh, crankcase ventilation line I'm going to do it from here to the intake tube and I'll use uh, I'll use this this nipple here I also need to hook up the IAT the intake air temperature sensor that plugs into here this is the sensor here it will go into the intake tube over here and then the uh, the steam tube that would run from here to here for the crankcase ventilation I'm just going to drill a hole through the silicone elbow here and hopefully kind of just thread this in make it a self tapping type hole The IAT came with a with a rubber grommet. And the idea is that the rubber grommet this goes into the rubber grommet, and the rubber grommet is what is what holds it in place. Uh, so I'm going to drill a hole in the in the metal here where I marked it, um, and then put the rubber grommet in. Uh, it should take a three quarter inch hole. Cleaned up the uh, burrs on the hole with a file and then took a, uh, a wet rag and just wiped out the inside to make sure that it's clean, no chips are in there. And the IAT sensor should just push right in. So the intake comes out here and the IET sensor I put on this side so it'll be out of the way. But the um, the, the wires won't reach. So I'm gonna I'm gonna splice on to here and run the wires down under the throttle body and bring the connector up here. Here's the uh, completed wire. Goes up to the sensor. Little problem with the steam line. Where it comes out of the motor is quarter of an inch, and where it goes into the radiator is five sixteenths. So uh, what I did was I just bought a, a uh, conversion barb fittings that goes from quarter to five sixteenths and connected the hose. I'll, I'll hide it underneath the radiator radiator hose here. Here's the final steam line. Comes off the motor here, and I tied it up here and it goes in there. I left the clamp off on this side because when you fill this with antifreeze I'll need to take that off. 